Mabu, hi. Welcome to IMHO. In my home, it's actual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Babbles. The P today stands for petty. Yes, if you didn't know, the P always stands for petty. Update, I still have not been paid from that one gig. It's been 60 days. There has been forward movement. Okay. But I did also realize that the company that has not paid me for my pride bingo that happened over 60 days ago, it's actually the company that I do my vision insurance. So. I canceled my vision insurance, but I have never seen more clearly. You need that. I'm sorry this is happening to you, but I'm even more sorry that it hasn't been resolved because it's going to continue to be a thing that you talk about. No, I no, know, I know, I know it's so it's stupid. But no, it's it, not stupid, it's, it's frustrating. And it's less about like, I need money. It's, it's about, it's no secret. I'm barely hanging on to this as a profession. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. when I look at the very few gigs that non-RuPaul girls do get to have that do pay a little bit of money, they just fucking dangle you. College gigs, corporate pride bingo gigs, corporate pride gigs, drag queens and queer people to some corporations are only like, yeah, cool. And then the minute that month is over, was it July? For me, every everyone month is fucking pride month. doesn't matter. I'm and you're nothing. Proud. And what? Oh, I, you're not in our system. Throw it. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, we don't operate on a net 30. We actually operate on a net 45, by the way. I'm changing my drag name to Annette Funicello. May she rest. I love her. Loved. I'm so sorry that's continuing to happen to you, but I'm really happy with how you're dealing with it. Because I gotta say, in the past, before you were getting shtupped regularly, you would talk about it nonstop, and you only bring it up every time I talk to you. So I think that's growth. <laughs> I think it's growth. It is growth. It is growth. It's growth. It is growth. You talk about that and you talk about Survivor. You've got, you've got a very full, oh, small plate. I'm on to Isle of Extinction. And in oh, this no. season, instead of going home, people go to an island where they really do have nothing. Naked and afraid. I believe it's season I've seen 38. It. Some, of these, some of these people are naked, basically. <laughs> No, but it's really good because David came back. He got to come back for like a second go round. He was in one of the first seasons I ever watched, season 33. Oh my gosh, and he was like an exec from LA, like a writer or something. And he was afraid of everything. He was like truly had one of the most- The mini craziest. challenge is a sack race. Oh my God. Survivor Philippines. <laughs> I mean Drag Race Philippines. <laughs> Oh no. What'd you say? I said Survivor Philippines. It's Drag Race. I mean, it could be seen that way, and one girl did not survive. No. I'm obsessed with Mama Pow's suit in this. Oh my god, right? The patches and the pockets. And I didn't even realize it until I watched some Bodhi's opinion. Is it Bodhi or Body? I watch his show and I don't even know. Anyway, I watched the YouTuber's video and he was like, I'm so glad her hair is dark again. I forgot that last season she was a blonde and it made her look kind of sickly. Lots of gay people choose to go blonde. It In is times of crisis. It's not for everyone. In times of crisis. I want to yeah. say... It's not for everyone. So the mini challenge is a sack race. First of all, hilarious that the, that sack because of balls. Did you ever do sack race in field day? Uh, yeah. yeah. That was so fun. Hopping as a mean of transportation. Now means. Sorry. I don't love what I meant was means. That's I don't I mean. love because it takes a lot. Of, I I don't love that. Well, because your car. I did it on Camp Wanakiki, and it was my least favorite part of the whole you experience. You keep bringing that up. What is that? <laughs> What made me laugh though was that Mama Pow was like, now you have time to get into your sexy big boobies quick drag look. Yeah, yeah. She said, sexy big boobies. They asked a toddler to describe the mini challenge and she went with it. Sexy big boobies, Versex decided, I don't do big boobs. Even though that's the whole point of this. She does. I yeah. don't do big boobs. I'm a supermodel. She does, in fact, compete. She does win her round, but thankfully. But she gets. Thankfully, yeah. Thankfully, yeah. Mama Pal's like, she, sexy big boobies is kind of the whole point of this. Sorry. She had an opportunity and she... She wasted she it. She wasted it. She wasted her opportunity. She... Hang on. No. She had an opportunity to exhibit model behavior. She had an opportunity to exhibit model behavior. Uh. But instead... Her areolas got too big. Do 
too real. Kiana wins, and Kiana's actually the person who lost to her, so I do think that that's very funny. That is funny. So Kiana wins, she is the new, who's the girl that kept winning? Matilda? She's the new Matilda. Yeah. I'm Matilda, I'm a Matilda. My teacher is nicer than my parents. So we find out we're gonna do the girl group challenge. Girl group challenge! They are doing Don't Fuck It Up, which of course is, gotta say. Love it. It was a bop. Oh, it was, it was so good. It was a bop. Yeah. It was a bop. Because Kiana wins, she gets to pick her team, and yeah. then she picks a bunch of people. For sex being one of those people, which was... Interesting. I thought it was a people-pleasing move, and I completely understand that. If someone has been mean to me, I will go out of my way to make them think that oh, I'm Maybe likeable. she was doing keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Well, she unfortunately, after this episode, won't be able to do that anymore. Should we just go to the runway and talk about their performance as well? We should, but I do have to say Moofs is hot. Oh my god. And his name oh, is funny. It's funny. It sounds like a cow or, farting. Or incredible. Moof. Maybe not funny. I don't want to be disrespectful, Actually, but I it just It sounds loved it. like a toddler, the same toddler who came up with sexy big boobies describing what sound a cow makes. Moofs. Moof. I would like to make a moof on you. It was con if you don't mind. Okay. Well, if you're going to talk move, I can also talk. I do want to talk about Angeline Quinto. Quinto? Quinto? Close enough. I know we haven't been talking about the guest judges. Sorry about that. But I loved her. Oh, I loved her. I loved her. her feedback. I loved... Her energy her during inner... the judging and the lip sync. Yeah. Incredible. I just thought, and as they were recording, I just thought she was really positive and helpful. And even when Versex was doing poorly, she was so encouraging. She was still giving help, though. It was nice. It was a good She balance. was serving help. Yeah. She was giving helpful. Mama Pow, first up. Ooh, I loved this look. I loved it. Khaled Karen, who, by the way, looked outrageous. Khaled Karen's one of the most beautiful women in the world. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. <clears throat> yeah. Mama Pow, she said, was serving suman, which is Filipino rice cakes cooked in coconut milk and covered in banana leaves. Delicious. Twice. So she was yellow. Delicious. Okay. And her nude illusion had little gems all over it. So I assume that suman also has little diamonds in it. And that's rich. That sounds rich. That's a zoom in a lot. Don't talk for the rest of this thing. You killed it. You won't get better than that. Any word you say will ruin your legacy. The first group that goes up is the Baruch Pak, and that is Kiana's group. So it's, you know, I'll put it on the screen. It doesn't matter. I thought they were great. I Again, it's a boppity bop bop bop. Yeah. Obviously, Maxi is incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, Maxie's my God. Maxie is so incredible. Shut it down. She is a queen of the universe. And I, I would like to fight anyone who disagrees. I can't imagine anyone would disagree, but I am physically violent sometimes. Truly so good. Shame for sex was kind of there. I felt so bad for Versex. Can I ask yeah. you this? Why were they all in the exact same color except for, for Versex? She had the boots on. I imagine. That made her stick out like a sore thumb. That's the thing, yeah. It did not help her blend in at you all. You never know how, how those go. Like if there's like fabric in there, they're all like, oh, we can all do this color. I completely get the impulse to push your brand, right? And she's like, my brand is fashion. I only do fashion. It's fashion. I'm I only do fashion. Sex. I just do fashion. Fashion versus sex. But she's not versatile when it comes to following directions. Yeah. She's doing her own thing. At some point, you have to say, I'm in the competition. I need to play the game. Well, and it's also, I need to play by the rules. It's also good just to, to be flexible within your brand. Well, I think and she And say, showed, like, I'm still going to be me, but here's how I'm going to do it. I think she showed in her first episode when she just went off. She's got a lot going on. There's a lot yeah. going on, and I think for her own growth as a human being and as a person, because she's still so young, I think she needs. I think she needs time away. And not I, not in like a, a home or a jail or anything. Just away from the TV. Well, I think she's gonna get it. I also loved Kiana's verse. She started with, "My family might be broken." <laughs> <laughs> not funny. That Breaking is so relatable to this one. I mean, not for the same reason. It sounds like she was going through a lot, and that's really sad. Although I did find out it does look like it's stomach cancer, and he's doing really, 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 really bad. And so I might be an orphan soon. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I need this. I need this win. Catch 20 window out every Tuesday. <laughs> 
I'm glad you're not bitter anymore because you've got your own project. And by that, I mean a boyfriend. I was never... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never bitter. Come on. I support the two of you. Thank I'm just you. bitter that I don't have a twin. You are as much work <laughs> as twins. I have to say, having you as a friend, it does feel like I have twins that I have to babysit. Thank you so much. Just because the amount that you eat. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had Harfakakers. Harfakakers. <laughs> I gotta say. I liked them. I was not excited for John when John was like, it's now my time to prove it. Whenever they do a talking head of someone saying that, I'm not just an online queen. I can prove I'm more than that. It's usually a bad sign. But John was right. John was great. John was so John was great. Good. Tita Baby. I loved Tita Baby. Oh, I yeah. loved Tita Baby. Their whole group was really good. I liked Mix too, but we'll get to that once we start talking about the judging. All right, okay. let's go to the let's runway. Let's go to the runway. First it's up. Per, yeah. Per, yeah, which is carnival or fair? Carnival. 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 But, but fair, not carnival. You know, just carnival. Like carnival fair. Like in a parking like lot. Like a little, yeah. yeah. Up first is Kiana. She was the Kierasel, and it was so beautiful. That's your second incredible take. I'm so proud of you. I love your nails. <laughs> God damn it. They're finally She gone. looks amazing. I loved it. The masks were a gorgeous touch. Yeah. I, I really do think the masks helped elevate the entire thing, but holy shit. Was it one of the um, never-ending stories where the guy had the face, but he had a bunch of faces on every side, so it would, like, turn? Oh, it was really scary. creepy. It was a lot of kids' movies from the 80s that were terrifying, but I was obsessed with. That's why we all like true crime now, because we were raised yeah, to fear on everyone and Hall everything. Yeah, on of Heads and... Um, Rescue 911. Do you remember Rescue 911? Oh my god, my parents would watch that. My mom would William watch William Shatner. That. It's his I'll never work. forget the baby that she accidentally left the water too hot and the baby's skin melted off. It was a baby. She put it in the bath. Boiled. <laughs> like a bagel. <laughs> yeah. Then we have, okay, she's coming for your gig. We have Angel. Oh, Angel, she was bingo. the bingo girl. She looked really good. I loved this. She looked really good. And she good. was having so much fun with it. Listen, I know that there has been mixed reactions to her not leaving, but having her be in the girl group challenge and then serving this look, I'm glad she's here. I have to say, I'm glad she's here. I love one of the most beautiful faces to me, like something about her face. Mm -hmm. And she's just always so fun and beautiful. I love it. And she's having a great time. And this is good. This is really good. Then we had Zimba. Now Zimba is not the whole carousel. She's just one of the horses, baby. She doesn't she's have to be the whole carousel. the horse that her parents would take her to get kicked by the carnival but she couldn't they couldn't always afford i just love that everything they zimba couldn't does always afford i know i, I love, love that, that She's everything like, I'm she the does horse is, for everyone is in reverence to her family and her history yeah. like yeah i love her yeah i thought it was cute i liked it a lot then we have pop, pop star, star bitch she was a ferris wheel now it wasn't until the judging when the judges were like why is that in front of your face and in your entire body that she did a turn it around at the judging and it looked a million times better. So much better. Because she is gorgeous. And yeah. I love her body. Yeah. But I didn't understand that choice. But I really liked it when she flipped it around. Well, maybe when she's sitting on the bench, she can't, like, it's much more comfortable for it to be in front of your face. And she has to contractually, she's obligated to sit on benches between takes. Because she's, she's pop star she's sponsor, Well, she's sponsored by the bench um, By the bench. Coalition. Big bench. Big bench. Big um, bench. Do you remember the Ferris wheel on Navy Pier, Chicago? Yeah. My cousins, of course. Ben and Adam, scary. They lived in Africa, and one time when they were coming back, they like visited home, and then they were going back to Africa. They had a layover, like a six-hour layover in Chicago, and they came to visit me. And we went to Navy Pier. We had lunch somewhere, and we went on the Ferris wheel. And you know it's supposed to keep moving, right? Well, it stops to let people on and off if they no. get stuck or they fall. It keeps moving. Yeah, unless they fall. Right. So we were on the we were on, and it stopped. 
and it stopped for like 20 minutes. And my cousin Adam, he's a little scared of heights. And he was like, oh, is it supposed to stop? And I had to do improv and I said, oh yeah, yeah, it stops. I don't know why it stopped this long, but yeah, it's this is okay, everything's fine. And he was like, okay. And then he went back to Africa and he's the one that died. He died from a great height. Yeah. That was foreshadowing. Oh my <clears> God, well rest in peace, Adam. I'm glad that you got to Ferris wheel. That's cool. I did feel special that his last moments in America were with me. We're stuck in a Ferris wheel, that's not funny. <laughs> yeah, with that's me. not funny. Then we had Versex, and this is what I'm talking about. She is a fashion clown. She's Vivian Westwood clown interpretation. Head in a box because of clown. She looks great. Don't I gotta get me say, wrong. I don't get, yeah, I don't get carnival, but I do love it. I think she looks, she looks cool. Great. Here's the thing is if this were something that happened every other runway, fine. But she has been doing her own, this is my style, I only do this style. She even says in her talking head over this, she's like, yeah, and I'm doing like a fashion clown. I made it fashion because that's all I'm ever going to do. I don't know. I get it from an age perspective. She's so young and she's so cover your ears for sex insecure because of everything that's been happening around her to her perhaps because of her we don't know the full story so I, I get why she's trying to hold on so hard to this identity but it's not fun to watch when you're a contestant on a, a game show I appreciate different interpretations but at some point I do want you to just play the game even the mini challenge of not wearing boobs for the mini challenge you're not here to play the game are you are you? Oh, uncover your ears. Are you? She said no. I like it. I just wouldn't have known what the category was. Right. By looking at it. Then we had Maxi. Maxi, she was oh referencing God. a color game. I do think it's interesting because there are a lot of parallels between her and Angel. Angel did a game. She did a game. I Their think this is beautiful. I think this is beautiful. Yeah. No, I think she looks gorgeous. I think this is so cool. And you know what? I kept saying last episode, uh -oh. this is the first time we've ever had siblings on the show. And that is true. We have had twins before. But these are siblings. Do you understand? Twins are their own kind of thing. They're like freak show. Like a, a abomination of creation. They're like a freak show. But these are just regular. These are just normal siblings. Um, so that's all I meant. I completely acknowledge um, salt and pepper. And I completely acknowledge your feelings. I'm gonna tell the Sugar Baker twins what you just said about them, and they're gonna take back that $100 gift card you won. It wasn't a $100 gift card. $25 in it was Hamburger Mary's pennies. box. It was 100 pennies. It was 100 pennies. Okay. Then we had Mix Chanel. Now she was the pesos game. I don't know what that is. This was kind of a Miss Chanel. Can I be honest? <laughs> I didn't dislike it. No, I didn't either. I, I just wanted to do the wordplay because her name is Mix Chanel. I think they were being <laughs> extra hard on her because she's such a, a cunt to work with. Because she's she's a perfectionist. And she's very, I have to do this and I must do this. Mm -hmm. And all the girls are annoyed by her. And I think they wanted to take her down a peg. And so I think they commented. I mean, I agree with Jiggly. She did say that a ruffle at your waist is never good, no matter how tiny you are. A ruffle at your waist will make you question your taste. That's what she, she could have said. A ruffle at your waist will make you be eating disorders. Probably. <laughs> I'll ruffle <laughs> No. <laughs> nah, you stopped yourself. That was probably good. I didn't really mind this look. I gotta be honest. But yeah, I didn't either. Whatever. Then we had John, John Fede Fede Yaga. Yaga. Yeah. No, she was the whole carnival. I loved it. She First put the Ferris all, wheel on her back. Hair. And it worked. Yeah, she put the Ferris wheel on her back. Maybe Popstar Bench saw that and said, oh, I can't have it on my back too. And she moved it to the front. Oh, well, she fucked herself. John looked great. I loved everything. John looked so good. There are some outfits. And honestly, we have a lot of outfits on the Philippines that are just very busy. Sometimes it does look like people don't edit well, which I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Tita Baby, but this, it looks gorgeous. I'm it's so chaotic, impressed. It's chaotic, but I'm like, able to focus. Yeah, there's a there's a, a reason for it. Uh? Speaking of chaos, we get into Tita Baby. Now Tita Baby was like, I'm the balloon dart Game. She was the balloon dart game, but she was like the prize wall. She was really just the prize wall. The she was the prize wall. Game. I wonder if the balloon was an afterthought, because it certainly appears to be. And I love Tita Baby. Do not get me wrong. Yeah. But this is a mess. 
Yeah. This, this reminds me of her trash. No, not the trash in part. The store. The um. Yeah, the variety store. store the look. variety store. I just I don't think she edits well. I like the hair. Right after that, we had Yuri Puta with a real pool dart, balloon dart. She came out look. as the balloon. She came out as the she balloon. She popped herself. And yeah. then she was the prize. It was a little more cerebral. So there yeah. is a lot of just, you take it all in. But I gotta admit, I didn't mind it. I liked it. I think if there were a smaller amount of girls, perhaps I would have been a little Shout more out critical. to her. She looks so beautiful in the big sexy boobies titties competition. <laughs> Didn't right? she look so beautiful? Very hot. And finally, J. Quinn. Oh, this is cute. I agree. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Very impressive that she made that wig. Um, yeah. Can you I like it. Yeah. <laughs> My voice keeps getting higher. They tell the safe people they're safe. And then when they're giving the notes, like top and bottom notes, they go to Versex. And Versex has this weird face. And Mama Pow imitates it. <laughs> So they have a little <laughs> face off. Look at this. Look That's at great. that face. And then Mama Pow does it. And it's then they great. and then they give her the notes that she didn't do good. And then they cut back to it and Versex has that same face. It's like smile, but like because <laughs> of the makeup, it's so funny. I think finally even the judges were over Versex. Because yeah. they were just like, you don't want to participate. I have to shout out Mama Pow. I love watching her watch because she will make faces. Yeah. Like you can read what she's thinking. Yeah. She doesn't hide it's, it well. <laughs> it's so. Yeah. She'd be a terrible But politician. it adds. Oh, it's so good. Now we do get an incredibly sad story from John. Yeah. That she was sexually assaulted. It was so beautiful to see everyone rally around her. That's, that's yeah. something in the Philippines. Drag Race Philippines always gives us the emotion and not just the emotion, but the genuine loving reaction from the judges, which I don't mm -hmm. think we see a lot of in other franchises. This one, it just feels like such a small family knit Knit, and it knit, feels knit, real tight knit and crochet group. It was just really, really sweet to see everyone rally around her. Yeah, I, I was kind of smiling, but it's only because I was uncomfortable. That happens. Everyone copes the way they can. I often do it with humor, but this is not the time. So Maxi wins. Congratulations, Maxi. Well deserved. So proud of her. And extra sweet knowing like there's gotta be a lot of pressure on your back coming from yeah. doing so well in another you know what I mean? In another world situation. Universe. Show. <laughs> So the bottom two are Mick Chanel and Versex. J. Quinn is safe. Mm -hmm. I do, mm, I know I've been very critical of J. Quinn and I'm gonna continue to be. <laughs> For her entire personality to be K-pop, I think we expected a lot from her and she's not a dancer. She's just not. It's, it does, it, she does, the moves, they don't, and it's fine but she's not. Yeah. I think it would have been really interesting to see Versex and Jay Quinn and the bottom together because they were kind of the mean girls to start. So then to see them fighting to stay and not be the first one out would have been kind of a poetic justice mm. moment. But I also understand that Mick Chanel didn't exactly follow the prompt. And also it makes a good storyline. You know, it kind of humbles her a little. Yeah. And I see that, but I would have completely been okay with her being switched out with Jay Quinn. Yeah. Did you think Jay Quinn was a good dancer? She's not good. I think she was fine. Okay. They're doing the lip sync. Mix, <laughs> at one point, Mix rips her bra off into wearing little pasties and they cut to Mama Pow and she's like, whoa! <laughs> like, back to Mama Pow, can't I hide how she actually feels? She was taken aback. Loved her. For sure. Unfortunately, that means the first person out this season is Versex. Now, yeah. I did come to love Versex, despite herself and mm -hmm. everything she said and did, but I, I mean, I've already said it. If you're not going to play the game, go home. I was a little surprised. Her reaction was very level-headed. Her goodbye line was she wants to be human. <laughs> yeah, what did that mean? Because I was wondering if she was saying like she wanted to quit drag. No, I or, read it Or as did she meant like she said, she wanted I wanted to, to come here for her. my brand. I wanted to be the best. And now I realize, no, I just want to be a, a human. I just want to be a better person. Is how I interpreted oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because then when she goes back in the workroom, very level-headed, she's like, yeah, it just wasn't my day. We all have bad days. It wasn't my day. I was like, ma'am, in three episodes, you have completely changed 
good for you. Now change the rest. An enjoyable episode. I did watch Untucked. <clears throat> Nothing happened. So I'm just gonna oh, tuck meant, that right I back up. I meant to watch Untucked, this but would I have been really the worst forgot. One to watch. I really forgot. All right, well, we will be back next week with another episode. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, of course, the notification bell. Join us um, oh. on our Patreon at patreon.com slash IMHO the show. Also, we're both on Cameo, isn't that crazy? We are, but we also have Shamio. We can get both of us. Uh, IMHO the show.com. All of our merch is at dragwemerch.com. Bye. For everyone wondering, for everyone questioning, we are doing a mega episode of the first three episodes of Global All Stars. Yeah, sure we are. Oh, Global All Stars, yes. We are. We are doing that. <laughs> um, so that will be coming soon. I coming am soon. leaving the town, the town that we're currently in. Yes. I'm traveling to another town. Yeah. Really far away. Uh -huh. It is my husband Curtis. I'm married. Sorry. Sorry, fellas. My husband Curtis's birthday <clears throat> is September 1st. Uh so you can go ahead and start sending those those monies in and stuff. It's also my nephew's birthday. Isn't that fun? So we're going to Chicago because his favorite jam band, Disco Biscuits, will be in Chicago. So we're going yeah. to Chicago. Chan will actually be out of town. So Chan is going to New Jersey or whatever. So we're gonna house sit for Chan and Isn't Peter. Isn't that so fun? I'm excited because I'm gonna go through all their stuff. She told me not to, but yeah. I'm going to. What is she gonna do? She can't stop is me. Is that fun? And while you're there house sitting for Chan, I'm gonna be here house sitting for you. Thank and I've you. already gone through all your stuff ad yeah. nauseum. I know. Um, so I'm just There's gonna be new. like pooping. You're gonna be pooping and you can take a bath. You can oh, bathtub. I bath Should I get you some Epsom salts? You probably do need to soak. No, no, no. Give me some Diet Coke though. I'll get you some Diet Coke filled with Epsom salt. <laughs> no, but I'm really excited to go back to Chicago. I haven't decided yet. Cause I was thinking, should I try and- Go I... sidetrack. <laughs> <laughs> that obviously is happening. Every time I go back to Chicago, they send me a little note and they're like, hey, we were just kidding about all that. Do you want to come back? And I'm always like, no, but this trip feels different. I was thinking, should I bring drag? Like, should I at least do like one show somewhere? No, you know you're not going to want to. That's not true. I love seeing people. So I was thinking maybe I reach out and just see if I do one. If I do decide to do something, I'll let you know. Otherwise, just I'll be at the Uptown Target most of the days that I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm most excited about. That's I love that Target. such a good it's Target. Target. It's the best Target. It really, really is. is. Really is the best. But yeah, I'm really excited to head back to Chicago for a little bit. I mean, I'm sorry I won't be seeing Chan, but I will be seeing her stuff. I uh, am also excited because now I'm legally Licensed, uh, 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 legally licensed driver and I can drive you cats to the airport and I can you. use your car. I have so many plans. I'm gonna go to the beach. Our insurance is I'm up to date. I'm gonna go to... And um, I've already talked to your parents Highland about Park. covering whatever damage you caused to the car. And I'm gonna your go... Your mom said, of course, she's a girl, she can't drive. I'm gonna go to my Which is something house, I want probably, your like, mom back to unpack. Forth quite that a bit, is some you know, I always forget. bullshit. I am and gonna she, go through some of these wigs and just touch them up. And then your up. dad said, shut up, faggot. What? My dad doesn't say F. Oh, only when he comes. No, he doesn't say F. You know, one time, the first time I tried... Okay, when I tried cussing, or tried saying something kind of risque. Okay. <laughs> it started with, you can suck it. And I said it to my dad one time, we were riding bikes and he is like, do Wait, you know what that means? What? Why yeah. would you say that while riding bikes? Well, back then when I didn't know what something meant, I would just say it and then ex like hope they would tell me what it means. Sure. And so we were riding bikes and I don't know, I guess I was being silly and I was like, yeah, you could suck it. And then my dad's like, do you know what that means? And I was like, no. He was like, turn around and we had to go back home <gasps> and I got in trouble. What did he do? Did he put soap in your mouth? No, 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 no. I never got soap in my mouth, but I did get the paddle once. Once? Your dad's a pussy. I would get spanked a lot hand, but I only got paddle once. Oh, because I couldn't afford that many paddles. I get it. I had that exact same experience, only very different. So not exactly the same, but you know, like when you were a kid and you'd come home from school and you'd be so wired because you were so excited that like the school part was over and yeah. you know, you get to go home and eat snack cakes and watch TV. We didn't have internet. My mom always it watched. It didn't exist yet. It hadn't been invented by Al Gore. He was very busy at the time. But she loved watching All My Children, which is a American soap opera. Oh my God. And she loved a Susan Lucci. Which is so ironic. And there was a, why? 
Oh, because she, she wasn't, wasn't watching all of, her, all children. of her children. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So she's on the phone. My mom is on the phone that's in the kitchen. And for those of you who don't know, at that time of life, if your phone was in your kitchen, it had a 100 foot cord so mm -hmm. that you could walk around the house with the cord wrapping around the house. So she's on that. I don't know what room she's in, but I see the cords going somewhere. And we had this little black and white TV and it's playing all my children. And Susan Lucci screams, you bastard. And I had never heard that word before. <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. You bastard. So I scream it. <laughs> my mom whipped around the corner. She, Unraveled. so to get, to get it to come back, you kind of have to hold it and then it wraps back up. Anyway, so she hangs up the phone. She chases me around the house. I have no idea what I've done wrong. I have absolutely no idea. And she's screaming at me. She's holding, we didn't have bars of soap. We had like soft soap. We had the, the pump soap. So she's running around the house with the pump soap, trying to get it in my mouth. She finally catches me because I was, listen, I've never liked running. She is <laughs> squirting. She has forced my lips open and she's squirting this soap into my mouth. No! And she won't tell me what I've done. I'm like, what? What? What did I say? And she's like, you know what you said. But like, honestly, I didn't. Anyway, that's why I've stopped talking to her. I mean, it took me like 30 years to, to make that decision, but damn, am I glad I did. You're never gonna soap me again, bitch. <laughs> but that was what she would do. She would like pin us down and squirt soap into her mouth. Oh my God. And then sometimes, it depends on if her meds were working or not, but sometimes if she was having a low day, she'd use her finger and she would like brush her teeth with soap. See you next week. <laughs>